Welcome back to Boss Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be doing the G.I. Joe Classified Haslab His Tank Unboxing Experience. So first off, we're going to take a look at the box. Here is the outer shell. It is a very thick box. It's very funny that this has uh, the action figures one piece G.I. Joe Whitman instead of G.I. Joe His Tank. It has this code name Whitman on it. Here we have some type of barcodes. Imported by Hasbro and over here we can see that this end is up Here's our product information here made in China. There's a date code Dimensions of the volume the net weight is 13.55 pounds the gross weight is 18.85 pounds. I picked this box off my porch Man this thing was heavy so I can see why it's 18 pounds So here's pretty much the side of the Packings you get off your porch. And then here's the top of our box. And here's the side of the packaging. There's nothing you see on the bottom. So the sides and, you know, all four sides are the same pretty much. Alright, so opening up our box. We have, I mean, this is some thick cardboard. Wow. This box is pretty heavy. If you're going to keep your His Tank box, your, your initial carton that it comes in i recommend you keep this box if you're not going to display to keep it inside see it's packaged with four different corners there's black corner protectors that's fantastic right there so i'll go ahead and open up this inner box not only we have these four corner connectors on the top they're also on the bottoms too so your entire box is protected when you get it at your house so the inner box of the main box is pretty much just a brown box there's nothing to see at all on this thing it's pretty much just a cardboard box so here we are with our boxing experience first time seeing this and with you guys so this is going to be cool we open up the box what do we see wow this is a thick box it's incredible of course the camera is moving around because i gotta hold it because this thing's so big it's all wrapped in plastic. Look at that. Semper Fidelis Cobra. That's incredible. So dumping out the contents gets us this beautiful, very big box. Wow. Wrapped in plastic wrap. Very, very cool. Alright, with the plastic removed, man, this thing is stunning. Wow. 788 g87 four little four there mars industry six inch do we have the Haslab logo it's this nice matte finish you can actually feel the red here it's really a fixture you see the cobra logo inside the box there that's pretty cool they have this kind of tape if we can get that tape off of there without Damaging the box, that's the real question. And here's the side of it, man. This thing is stunning. The beautiful artwork we have Cobra Commander, Destro. We have the artwork for the gunner or the tank driver, I believe. I'm sorry. And then we have the Hasbro H14 and older. What kind of batteries does this take? This takes three AA batteries. Across here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo. Done in red. You can definitely can fill that print. Man, look at that his tank. It's beautiful. Stunning artwork. Here's the back of our box. Looks amazing. So we have some chains and some hooks very cool so we have another his tank in the background smoke some legal print i'm guessing of course we have to have all that mess no kids buying this so we don't even need all that crap 
and that artwork out of his tank is absolutely beautiful. A box to be looks to be in pristine condition and made it all the way from China in great mint condition. Side of the box is just insane. It's that logo there upside down on the his tank, the lights, chin cannon. Is this a tactician? Very cool. Wow. The treads. The line work here. Absolutely just so nice. Here we have the other side of the box with the female gunner figure. The artwork is absolutely amazing. The top of the box is some more of that chain or Line work hanging down and could be seen it behind it. That gunner with the shovel. The his tank looking amazing in the back. And that black silhouette. Some smoke. Some more of that line work. Looks very awesome. Now that bottom of the boss got to be about the coolest part of this whole thing. They probably should have made this the back because if you scuff this up, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be just terrible. Look at that Cobra here, 788. A lot of little details I wanted to show you guys. You only get this level of detail here on Blast Guys Reviews. I'll show all kinds of stuff. So you just guys want to pause and read all this stuff. You can. It shows you the LED lights there with the Cobra Insignia Hasbro. And then over here we have some information. Try to give it some of a decent way to pause it for you guys. Down here in the last section of that. The his tank is absolutely amazing. I love this line of work. There's the dimensions. The cannon. Turrets. Mounted rockets. Treads. We'll take a better look at that line of work. Because we get through all this uh, ring material here. Has a star crossed out. That's pretty cool. So interesting. There's that legal information. UPC. I don't know why we have a UPC, but we have it. Figure size. Very nice. Beautiful line work. I would love to have a poster of this. This would be a great. Alright guys, I'm going to hold this. So, this is the kind of tip I think if you're very, very careful, you can get this off. It's all damaging your box. This is definitely worth saving, uh, let alone if you're not a box collector. Yeah, this definitely would be worth something in the future. We've hit a milestone in the G.I. Joe classified community because the very first HasLab, every part of this is going to be valuable in the future. You can see that came off without any issues. So it looks like we have to open this from the side. I was able to get the tape off without any issues to my packaging so that's great wow this is how it's packaged inside you have the hiss at the bottom that cool pretty cool cobra hiss logo there and i believe that's our figures right there at the top that's pretty awesome and what's pretty cool about this they have these little tabs that you grab and pull out your trays so it looks out real nice from any extra damage to your packaging. All right, guys. So here we have our small box, beautiful thick cardstock, Cobra Insignia on the top. Nothing on the bottom. These are probably our figures. I'm guessing. Pretty cool. This is no tape. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh yeah, that's our figures. Nice box. So to get inside. So we have some stickers, instruction sheet. We have some tissue paper covering up our boxes. I'm gonna keep that because if you don't keep your boxes and you take your figures out like me, you definitely want to keep these boxes because these are your Hasla boxes. And these are the most important boxes, in my opinion, of this whole collection. Because you're gonna have your his uh tactician here with ron rudat mm -hmm. uh, it's not his real signature but it's just a copy 
but these are going to be very valuable even if they're open. We have our hiss driver, our hiss gunner, very nicely packaged. And then we have that Cobra Commander. Oh, absolutely cool. So it looks like we have his little tabs here. Just pull that out. Set that aside. Pull this out. Set that aside. It kind of looks like the uh, gunner is overlapping the Cobra Commander card. Looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get uh, those out of there. Wow. Take a look at them. Looks very cool. We have a little, a little bit of carbon protecting cover commander here. Set that aside. This cover commander. That's awesome. So I'm going to put everything back in this box because I'm going to once I open up my new review for my figures. I'm going to put all my boxes back in here for storage until I can find somewhere to actually put it.